Kegel exercises are exercises that help to strengthen your pelvic floor muscles, which are meant to support the organs in your pelvis. These kinds of exercises involve the tightening and release of the muscles in your pelvic floor in order to strengthen them. While they are more commonly attributed with helping with medical issues or preventing leaking pee or accidental passing of gas or poop, Kegels are also very good for improving your sexual health and your organs. In short, they can help you perform better in bed. And if this is one of the areas you're trying to work hard to improve, then it would do a lot of good to add some of these simple and interesting movements to your routine. In today's video, we'll be showing you eight Kegel exercises that can help you perform better in bed. Do stay tuned and enjoy. Number one, frog hip raises. For this exercise, you're to start by laying face up and bringing the soles of your feet together into a frog or butterfly position, with your feet positioned as close to your bottom as possible. Next, make fists with your hands and keep your elbows on the floor so that your forearms are perpendicular to the ground. Then, draw your belly button down toward the floor to engage your midsection and press your lower back into the floor, while keeping your chin tucked into your neck. With your ribs down and shoulders on the ground, press down into the floor with the edges of your feet, and then squeeze your glutes to thrust your hips towards the ceiling. Pause at the top before lowering your buttocks back down to the floor with control. Control. Following this, you can then repeat for reps. If you're looking to add a challenge, you can load the movement with weights. Number two, single leg bridge. This exercise starts by lying on your back with your hands by your sides, knees bent and feet also flat on the floor. Next, lift one foot extending the leg fully so it's roughly 45 degrees to the floor. Then raise your hips, tightening your abdominals and glutes to support the lift until your shoulders and knees are in a straight line. Squeeze your core at the same time as if you're trying to pull your belly button back towards your spine. Next, hold this position for around two seconds and then lower your hips to the floor slowly and with control, keeping your leg extended to return to the starting position. You can then repeat the process for a desired number of reps before moving on to the other leg. While doing this exercise, it's important to not allow your back to arch as you raise your hips. The lift should come from your glutes and not from the muscles in your back. Also, you should try as much as possible to keep a straight line from your knee to your shoulders in such a way that your hips don't sag or rotate during the movement. Number three, knee glute raises. For this exercise, you're to start by kneeling down with your knees around shoulder width apart. Your shins should be flat on the floor with your legs also in line with your knees. Next, position your feet so that the top of your foot is against the floor. Face forward, clasp your hands in front of your chest and engage your core. While keeping your back straight, slowly lower your buttocks down towards your heels. Ensure to maintain a neutral position, making sure to not allow your spine or torso to twist or lean to the side or backwards as you lower your glutes down. As your buttocks makes contact with your heels or calves, keep your core engaged and squeeze your glutes tight enough to drive your hips and chest back up to the starting position in a thrusting motion. Pause at the top and hold the stretch in the starting position. At this point, you can then continue for reps. While doing this exercise, you should always remember that your glutes should drive the movement and the control should come from your hips and not your upper body. Your core should also remain tight and you should avoid allowing yourself to sit back on your heels before the thrusting movement. If you're also interested in making the movement more challenging, then you can use weights or even a resistance band. Number four, side lunges. This exercise starts in a standing position with your feet hip width apart while your hands are in front of your chest. Next, take a wide step with your left leg to the side of you. Both your toes should be pointed in the same direction and your feet should be flat on the floor. Next, bend your left knee as you step outward and keep your hips back in such a way that it feels like you're trying to sit just one side of your lower body in a chair. Next, release the position by pushing off of your left foot to return to the starting position. Perform one set of side lunges on your left leg and then switch to your right leg before repeating for additional sets. Two things you should seriously avoid while doing this exercise are to not lunge too shallow or too deep and to not lean forward. While it may feel natural to lean your upper body forward, this will only throw you off balance and result in poor posture. Also, your leading leg should be at a 90 degree angle as as you bend your knee. The other knee, however, should be straight out and just a few inches off the ground. Number five, side to side push-ups. This variation of push-ups starts by assuming a push-up position with your body straight from head to heels while being supported by your extended arms. Your hands should be outside of shoulder width and this will represent the starting position. Next, initiate the movement by flexing your elbows and leaning to one side, lowering your torso to the ground. Return to the starting position by extending your elbows, pushing yourself back to the center. On the repetition, lower yourself to the other side before then returning to the starting position to complete a rep. You can then continue alternating between the sides for desired
required number of reps. Number six, plank in and out. This exercise starts by getting into a full plank position with your feet hip width apart. Tighten your core and keep your knees bent with a shift in weight also going into your arms. Next, jump up, lifting your hips up in the air to bring your feet close to your hands, landing in a tuck position on the balls of your feet. Next, quickly jump your feet back into the plank position to complete one rep. You can then continue to jump in and out as quickly as you can for a desired number of reps. Number seven, plank pausing. This exercise is another brilliant Kegel exercise and it starts by getting into a plank position, starting on all fours with your palms facing the floor, your elbows directly under your shoulders, and your forearms facing forward while looking into the floor. Once in a plank position, lower your hips to nearly touch the floor before then returning to the plank position at a seemingly moderate pace. After this, you can continue the movement for a few seconds. Ensure to maintain proper posture even as you lower your hip or pelvic area into the ground. Number eight, forearm plank. Another plank variation that makes the list is the forearm plank, and it starts by lying on the floor and placing your forearms directly under your shoulders. Next, slowly lift your torso off the floor by pressing into your forearms and knees. Contract your core as you lift yourself up while maintaining a neutral neck and spine. Next, tuck your toes under and lift your knees so that your body forms a straight line. Hold this for around 30 seconds or even up to a minute, depending on how long you can hold. While doing the exercise, one tip that will help you is to let your gaze fall towards the floor or mat so as to keep your neck in a neutral position. To get results fast, you can combine these eight exercises together to make up a single workout, which you can do a couple times a week. Each exercise should be done for around 40 seconds, with a rest of recovery time of 5 to 10 seconds to be taken before continuing the next one. Alternatively, you can do all the exercises at once and then rest after you're through with them. Which of these exercises will you most definitely be adding to your routine first? Let us know in the comments section. If you also enjoyed the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more exercise tips that can help you improve your sex life. If you're looking for the right foods to balance your efforts, then you should also check out These Foods Plummet Libido, but these four fix erectile dysfunction.